Hello guys, DJ Aaron here. Another video here on this MacBook Pro. I uh, put Maverick spec on it because I was having a few issues. One being that when El Capitan restarted after updates, it would just wait a while at a blank screen. And I think the reason for that is the older firmware on these MacBooks and uh, it boots up in El Capitan, I should say terrible, but uh, it boots into Mavericks rather well and I will demonstrate that here very shortly and yes <laughs> the MacBook Pro screen is dirty. So I will boot into Mavericks starts up right away so we'll see how long it takes when we get past the uh, Apple logo it shouldn't take very long and yes I got like a 60 Hertz lines in the middle of the uh, video here we're waiting Ooh, my my LCD just went on the uh, camcorder. Okay, there we go. Now I gotta log in. And uh, yes, I got a nice little flower on there. That's gonna be changed though uh, when I uh, update the picture. Okay, I'm gonna log in and we'll see how long it takes to get to the desktop. Boom, a couple seconds can El Capitan do that. <laughs> um, the reason why I went back to Mavericks is because I uh, I had a broken iTunes. Uh, pretty much uh, iTunes would just error out and would not open. So I got the same version of iTunes like it did in El Capitan this time. I'm going to open it, and boom, it opens right away with no errors or nothing. It's just going to have to take the tour thing, so we close that. So going back to Mavericks does have its uh, strong points, uh, pretty much uh, get iTunes working again and all that stuff. So one thing I'm going to show you guys now is I downloaded a utility called MaxFan Control. So I am able to pretty much monitor the speed, monitor the core uh, uh, temperatures, etc. of the diodes and stuff. So yeah, um, everything works just fine now. So we're going to go to About This Mac. We are running uh, version 10.9.5, which is the uh, final update of OS X uh, Mavericks. So is an out of support operating system worth it? I think so. And also, here's something that I figured out. I am actually running the latest version of Chrome, which means Google did not kill support for uh, Mavericks just yet. So we could go out to YouTube and everything is fine. So I'm going to go to my channel and I am going to click on a video. So I had to stop the clip there uh, for a second. So I'm going to click on a video. Let's click on an older one. Well actually no, let's click on a newer one that has a has some 
high def video in it. Hello guys, DJ Aaron here. Yes, tonight is an edition of Late Night with DJ Aaron, and tonight we are going to play the full. Okay, that runs normally. So, yeah, Chrome is still supported. I think until 2017, I believe. I don't know, they might have extended support for uh, Chrome on Mavericks. But, uh, yeah, it's supported and uh, all that cool stuff. So, alright, so I'm going to close out Chrome. We're going to go into System Preferences. I'm going to change the background. Desktop and Screensaver. Let's change it. Oh shit, they don't have the uh, wintry thing. Oh, they do. Okay. Alright, I changed it to the desktop background I had before. Alright, so anyways, I am going to shut her down. So, is going to Mavericks a good thing? Yeah, if you want your system to be uh, fast and happy, I would highly recommend it. And, uh, yeah, it, it runs just fine. So anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Peace out, and practice and enjoy. And I would give that a thumbs up, <laughs> if I were you. Anyways, peace out, practice, and enjoy.